Right, 11 May 2020, and today I want to talk about the serious cases of robbery that are taking place in Harare. Over the past month, over 500,000 US dollars in cash, before we talk of other goods, has been stolen at gunpoint by gangs of between 9 and 10 people. And these people are suspected to be soldiers. So as I explained last month, young soldiers are very, very hungry. They are resorting to crime. They are going on missions using information that they have been provided by people who work for people with a lot of cash, especially money changers. And then they are going to execute missions where they steal this cash and disappear. And when they do disappear, the police go on to arrest people that are most likely not the people that executed the robberies. So the people that are seeing that are being arrested are normally informers or employees or low-level people involved in the robberies. And some of them don't even have the cash. They've not even been given a portion or a share. Of the money i explained last month that the level of hunger in the zimbabwe national army is so bad that many young soldiers are deserting they are leaving in large numbers and this is worrying senior officers in the zimbabwe national army but what is currently happening these robberies of large amounts of cash is going to lead to a security situation because as people start stealing this money and gathering these large amounts of money they will start doing bigger and bigger things and some of these things will end up being national security threats so i want to show you a few of the robberies if you go on the internet especially if you read the herald newspaper you will see a lot of these robberies they are using ak-47 and there's only one place where you can get an AK-47 in Zimbabwe, and that is the Zimbabwe National Army. In fact, a few days ago, the Zimbabwe National Army was forced to issue a statement after one of their soldiers was arrested for a robbery and appeared in court. And during the arrest, he mentioned that he was a soldier. The Zimbabwe National Army went on to say, no, this guy is not a soldier. He was discharged in February. So that is like two months ago. Do you think he started doing the robberies after he was discharged? If you ask that guy, he's going to tell you who else is involved in the robberies in Zimbabwe. There is a big problem because robberies of cash, of businesses, it uh, reduces the confidence in business. It makes Zimbabwe a gangster's paradise. People need security when they are conducting business. And what is currently happening in Harare is chaos. You remember I said to you, in Blawayo, this was happening. And th these guys were robbing large sums of money. This has moved to Harare. And it's very, very bad. Let's look at some of the robberies that has happened between December and now. So December 20, 160,000 US dollars was sto stolen at... Wessel's shop in Masasa, I think the shopping center, nine armed robbers. February 5, 19,000 US dollars was stolen at Marconi shopping center in Chitungwiza, about nine shop, uh, armed robbers. February 26, US 267,000 was stolen in the CBD, again about nine armed robbers. On 28 April, US 60,000 was stolen at the CBD. And these were also people who were wearing police uniforms. And this was during the lockdown. They surrounded this car and arrested the people and asked them for their payment for being outside during the lockdown. And these people were wearing police uniforms. So think about that. Who in Zimbabwe would dare to walk around wearing a police uniform and then do a robbery in broad daylight? Right, March, 30,000 US dollars was stolen in Norton by a gang of eight. K, 
carrying AK-47s. Right, March 29, US 21,000 was stolen from the home of Musa Piri. 18 April, 100,000 US, 100, US dollars was stolen from someone called Pearson Mabaude. I think it's even more. They, they store a lot of goods. And then in April, Mashwede Holdings, they lost US 100,000 US dollars. So you can see the amounts are getting more and more. And then on May 20, I think this was on March 20, sorry, this March 20, another US 50,000 was stolen from the Chari family. All these robberies involve about nine armed robberies somewhere there. And six of those armed robberies have not been accounted for. So these six are probably the military guys. And also you remember that there was a shootout between police and detectives where five people were killed. These people were said to be the people who were committing the crimes. But the robberies are continuing even after these people were killed and the rest, the rest of the people were arrested. So there is a problem because what they've arrested here is probably the guys who are just working with the real robbers who as i said are military people people who know how to execute a mission people who know how to use an ak-47 and you see that in all these robberies the ones that are being done in harare some of them they have shot at the people but they have not killed anybody so these are not killers these are guys who are just after the money so you can see that these guys are not out to kill anyone they're out to get this money but 500,000 US dollars that's a lot of money that's almost 10 million rand if I'm not mistaken that has been stolen in cash and this is a very very big problem so what do I think what do I think should be done to solve these problems firstly in the military they need to improve the conditions of service and then I also think that our business people, they should be encouraged to bank their money. So the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe should make it possible for someone to store their money in a safe or at least put it in the bank and don't take the money, don't confiscate the money. People are keeping their money in their houses because they are afraid that the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe is going to come and take their money. This is a problem. Put money in the ATMs. Let people withdraw money in the ATM so that we have a normal economy. This business of trying to benefit from arbitrage at the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, where they're also involved in the black market and pushing out the smaller operators. This is a problem because this could also be coming from there that operators at the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe will be having inside information and setting these guys onto these other forex traders. We need a normal economy. What is so difficult about putting money in an ATM so that people don't have to go and do these black market deals? With these black market deals, they are the ones causing the economy to collapse. They are the ones which are causing people to go into the black market. Normalize the economy. Make sure that things function. Then we won't have this situation. This situation is destroying the image of the country. Where people are just shooting and getting money and stealing large sums of money. Businesses like Mashwede losing 100,000 US dollars in one day. That is not acceptable in any country. And it's a shame that we've got a security service that is failing to deal with this kind of situation. Especially when it is clear that the guys who are committing these robberies are coming from the army. How difficult is it to get this information? from the guys who have been caught, who exactly in the military is dealing with this situation, who is causing all these robberies. Right, so I don't want to say much more. I think this is sufficient. I covered this topic last month. The Zimbabwe military engaging in all these robberies. It's clear. And people who are running with these AK-47s who are not caught, they'll be striking again very, very soon. And we'll be talking about it. Right. Thank you very much for watching.
If you're watching this on WhatsApp, please send it to as many people as possible. If you're watching on YouTube and Facebook, please like, comment, and share.